Well, hello folks and welcome back to a Monday morning here in Nova Scotia. It's a holiday Monday for a lot of people, but uh, not for not for me and not for guys like me. Uh, <laughs> you just work. Um, it's like a government holiday. Some people, some other companies take it off, but um, yeah, we got too much to do. So everybody's working. The guys, uh, guys are on the road heading up towards Cape Breton. Um, John's up in the valley. Dave is off. I'm working. I'm heading down to Yarmouth. I have the New Holland 345 and the Osma SQ 160. SS SSQ 160. I'll have to look at it when I get out. Um, I use this thing at my place a couple times now, and it is a bad, bad machine. Let me tell you, it, it chews, it hums, it does what it's supposed to do. And I looked at this job down here like probably three weeks ago, and I said, man, this is the perfect job for the skid steer. So in Nova Scotia, we have a lot of rock. Um, a lot of places aren't ideal for the skid steer. I get that question all the time. Why choose uh, an excavator over the skid steer? And it's just because of our terrain. But there are certain places that is nice and flat, nice soil, no rock, and this is one of them. There's a few rock, but not much. So it's a big job. Like Buddy bought like 30 some acres, and I think that he wants like 20 acres cleared or something. It's all alders. It's an old field grown up. You'll see that in a second. Um, but yeah, we're uh, we're hauling the rig right now. I assume you guys can see it. We're in the 450. We're heading. And one thing I can tell you is a holiday like today. There is like hardly nobody on the roads. I haven't had to slow down. I haven't had to touch my cruise control since I pulled out of the gas station. Not once, not once. That's awesome. When I first came down and looked at this job, this was the first time I was ever down like in this, this sort of exact area. Man, it is beautiful down here. Beautiful beach over to my right. It's beautiful. Go across this skinny little bridge. Yeah, look at the beach. It's huge. Huge beach. There's people down there walking out right now. Tide's low, so the beach is you know bigger than what it bigger than what it is when it's not. Crazy tides. But yeah, it is beautiful down here. Another big beach right here. Nice sandy beach. Now let's see where we're working. All right, so let's check it out. So we've got 20 some acres, I think is what he's deciding to do. 20 some acres of this stuff. This is an old field that's left go and grown up and we're clearing this crap out. Some pretty good sized stuff there. It's gonna chew up a little bit harder, but this is exactly what the skid steer mulcher or a dedicated mulcher is made for, is this stuff right here. I'm gonna try to bring my drone down later on in the week so you guys can get like an actual good perspective of how much land this is here, but it's huge. There is a lot of land here that we're gonna be clearing out. But when it's all said and done, you'll be able to see it. Right now you can't see really anything. You can see in front of you and that's it. You can't see that way at all. But wait, there's the ocean. In an absolutely beautiful view of the ocean at that. I'm so excited to get this thing out, clear this up for this guy and get some after footage. Man, it's gonna be incredible. All right, so hopefully this is a good angle for you guys. But this thing is performing absolutely phenomenally right now. Making quick work of this. Stump 
rocks in here once you get down to the bottom of these clumps. And it just eats them.
about this, cleaning up around this spruce tree, and I'm gonna try to find that fence line. Day, but wow we got a lot done in a short period of time oh, I got a lot done I guess um, wow to make some really good headway three hours runtime that's it did all this and this stuff is thick extremely thick some of it's like big 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 stumps at the butt because there's like a group of 20 uh, trees coming off of one but yeah check it out you couldn't even see the water but I was standing up here before now it's absolutely spectacular but man this thing is working good working good um, like I said this isn't even the final one that I'm gonna get this is the 160 I'm gonna be getting the 180 which has the variable the variable uh, motor in it so that one's gonna come it's a bit wider which this stuff be even quicker i found a few rocks so that's where you see some stuff sort of sticking up but for the most part uh it's ready for like a power rake if they wanted to bring a power rake in i might have to get one for this but all right this is day one down here um late getting here and early a little bit earlier leaving just because of i got i had stuff to do in the morning and i got some stuff to do when i get home so tomorrow should be a really good day down here. Tomorrow should be a really good. So that's the property line over there. That's as far as we're going that way. But here we're going all the way down past that spruce, I think, to that next pole down there. And we're going all the way back to the swamp line. So yeah, <laughs> lots more to do yet. So you throwing at Daddy's broken truck? Oh, oh, <laughs> get another one. <laughs> Throw it! Oh! <laughs> of course, now it won't break. Throw it back there by the wheel. Back by the wheel. Yeah, right there. Throw it. Oh! Only broken trucks. Right, buddy? Throw it again. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> one more is left you gotta throw it really hard that's a very tiny one throw it really hard hard oh, oh <laughs> gone bonk. Bonk. all gone bonk. yeah bonked right into the box of the truck <laughs> all right well we're back on site here today a lot earlier it's around 8 30 right now it's a good hour and 45 minute drive down here I had to take the dogs back to the cottage in the morning we got some work going on at the house and they just bark all day long while Ash is trying to work so uh, it was an early morning 4 45 get up and go uh, but yeah man it looks so good driving past here seeing all this and then you come to this spot and it's like BAM looking good and the smell of the ocean water oh. I absolutely love it. All right, I'm gonna get this thing fired up. I'm gonna put a couple shots of grease in both sides of the of the mulch or the bearings, and I'm gonna start working my way down this way. So I'm gonna go a bit of a ways down, probably not all the way to the property line. Just go down, um, square it off, and then keep going further, square it off. Just work my way in sections, because if I don't, then it's just gonna look weird. 
and I don't want it to look weird at the end of end of each day. I want it to look, you know, symmetrical. That's just that's just who I am. <laughs> it's just it's just who I am. So once I get that squared off, going down that way, then I'll start working my way here, taking this all down, going that way. There's a big hawk, and then uh, work my way back towards the the wet area. But man, um, I got two phone calls last night actually um i gotta call them back they were driving by i seen a couple guys going really slow they must have got the number off the side of the truck and they see what's going on because this is all like this this whole area is like this so i assume those are people that own property down here and they're like man that looks good he should do that for us so i could end up being down here quite a bit do some serious serious thick stuff here like thick very thick but the thing is doing its job. It's uh, just pulverizing it. I'm gonna come down to this spruce tree and then work my way up. But man, this stuff is thick. you have they slightly tip it forward but with this one you don't need to do that he said 
You try to you try to ride along the bottom skid, which it's hard to see from in here, but I can tell that I'm doing it, and I'm not digging into the dirt, and I'm, that's going to prolong my teeth. It's more efficient. Um, anyway, it definitely seems like it's helping right now because that that didn't take any time at all to just do that. I mean.
Okay, so I'm done day two down here. And I think I still only, I only have like eight, eight, uh, eight hours actual run time on the mulcher. Oh man, look at this. plain to see so yeah this thing is performing absolutely phenomenal the guy who not the owner of the property but the owner's buddy he's local he came up and he said because my trucks on the side says vegetation management he said vegetation management I guess <laughs> anyway man this thing is kicking serious butt kicking 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 man this oh I'm so happy with this thing so um, fern tree equipment is where I got this from the guy's name is helmet if you want me to put you uh, put me in touch with him let me know I'll put the link to their website in the description but this thing is doing so good and so is this and I tell you what like I know the Kubota have have a lot of problems with stuff falling down inside there's really nowhere for anything to go here. It's closed off. Um, the uh, the radiator and the fan are staying nice and clean. There's really nothing in them at all. In the radiator and the fan, I'm definitely gonna get uh, some bumpers made for this, uh, fabricated, so that I can just protect the radiator area. But you know, even all these little tiny tiny scratches from the brush, it's just because there's dirt. There's not really see they just they just wipe right off you just kind of watch where you're going here is beautiful because it's a wide open area there's just like one tree but anyway uh definitely getting more hang of this thing uh wesley howe who had originally had mentioned to me through facebook actually he found me on facebook and he had he had mentioned to me about these mulchers i knew nothing about them just like most people around north america I knew nothing about them at all and I started checking them out and I'm like, man, that looks like a good product. Uh, he uh, he seen my, my, my first use video and he gave me a few pointers on how to use this particular mulcher, the way the Osmos are geared up. I don't know if they all are, but like the bottom skid, they're meant to be like flat. A lot of guys, you know, tip theirs ahead. This particular one or their, their mulchers, Osmo mulchers, you don't necessarily really have to tip them ahead. You open your gate all the way up, unless you're into you know close confined areas or you want to grind things up really good. And you that bottom skid, you just lay flat, and away you go. So you learn these little things as you go. That's for sure. There's there's different different ways of, of doing things. Um, but man, this thing is this thing is a rig. Let me tell you, I can't wait to get the 180. Like everything, the welds are the welds are beautiful. This is heavy duty, man. Like heavy, heavy duty. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. But anyway, guys, it is extremely windy, so I don't know if the sound is even coming through the camera at all. But I've got a long drive to get home. I've been up since well, 4:45, something like that, 4:30. Um, back at this again tomorrow, I think. But I might have to send John down here to run it tomorrow because I got some stuff to do. Potentially uh, some purchases, so stay tuned. But anyway, uh, that's gonna do it. I'm loving it, and so is everyone around here. They're like, holy, look at that, look at that. Um, I think I have a lot of work around here. Anyway, folks, until next time, take care, stay safe. See you then, bye.